Okay, so as Andrew uh, has mentioned, I'm neither um, an ophthalmologist nor a patient. I'm an immunologist, and my interest has been in how the eye gets attacked by the immune system. And what I'm going to talk to you today, if I can move this on. Which one is it, Andrew? It's that one, isn't it? You can tell I'm not an engineer. Um, okay, so what I'm going to talk to you today is the story of four molecules. Um, as with all science, particularly immunology, there's a huge number of acronyms. Don't worry about that. Um, it's more the concept that I want to get across. And what these four molecules do is to control the responses of these cytotoxic cells, the killer cells. Um, now, these cells are necessary in the body. They're important for the protection from things like cancer and from infection. But one of these molecules, the HLA-A29, is the strongest genetic link in, uh, in birdshot. And for this reason, I'm going to talk to you about these four molecules. So the first molecule is this MHC class 1 molecule, of which HLA-A29 is part of it. It's found on the surface of all cells in the body, um, except for red blood cells. And these are also initially known as the transplantation antigens. So if you're going to get a transplant, these are the things that your tissue would be typed for to see whether you would match between uh, the donor and the recipient. The second molecule is this molecule called the Kia, and these are constitutively expressed as well on these killer cells, and it's the recognition with MHC class 1 on the target cell that gives you an interaction between these two molecules. And the default mechanism for this is an inhibitory signal. So as long as there's MHC class 1 on the surface of your cells, under normal circumstances, you do not get killing because of this interaction. I'll come back to this fact that there's two forms of this, uh, the long form and the short form, as I go through. The third molecule is called NKGTD. Um, as I say, it doesn't really matter what that means. But this is expressed again constitutively, so on all these killer cells, along with the Kias, and they recognize a series of different ligands. And this includes um, a whole range of these, again, with a set of acronyms. But these ligands are expressed on the surface of a target cell when that cell becomes stressed. That can be virally infected. It can be when it becomes a tumor cell. It can be when it gets stimulated in an inappropriate way. And while this interaction is inhibitory, this interaction leads to activation of the killing cell, and it will attempt to kill the target cell. So, taking these together, as the MHC class 1 is found constitutively on all cells in the body, they are not killed under normal circumstances by killer cells. As I say, these are the transplantation antigens under normal circumstances. They're perfectly um, normal to have on the surface. These molecules, on the other hand, are expressed when they, on the surface of the cell when the cell becomes stressed, whether infected or um, stressed in other ways through stimulation of other molecules. And it's this balance between activating and inhibitory signals that actually determines the outcome of whether the cell will survive or whether it will be killed. And just to show that graphically, if you have a cell that has neither MHC class 1 on its surface nor any activating ligands, then there's no response. These killer cells just don't recognize it. And in this case, that would be red blood cells, for example. If you've got the normal circumstance where the cell's perfectly happy, it expresses MHC class 1. This is recognized by the Kia. And this NKG2D molecule is down here, but there's nothing to bind to. Then there is no response. This is the normal situation between cells in the body. If, however, you activate uh, the ligands on the surface of the cell uh, through stressing it, then you've got a situation here where the NK cell will kill, particularly if the MHC uh, molecule is dropped off the surface of the cell. And that can happen in certain circumstances. Viruses are very good at down-regulating that response. Under other circumstances, and probably in most situations, what you have is a balance between this inhibitory signal and the activating signal to determine whether there is killing. 
So what happens once you do get this signal, if it uh, is coming through the, one of these ligands through the NKG2D, then you get an increase in the cytolytic activity of this NK cell, in other words, it will kill the target cell, and it will also lead to the secretion of a series of these molecules called cytokines, which uh, signal between cells in the immune system and between other cells in the body. And these cytokines, for example, include things like tumor necrosis factor, for which there are inhibitors and are very useful in diseases such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, this is something that will be touched on by later speakers. So the activation of these natural killer cells will lead to killing of the target cell and also the, the release of these cytokines. So um, all the molecules involved in this system, whether it's MHC class 1, these key molecules, NKG2D, or things like uh, MIC A and MIC B, are all polymorphic. And that means that there are several different types of them that may be expressed. So the, the reason that you have to type people for these MHC class 1 antigens in transplantation is because my MHC class 1 molecules will be different from somebody else's. Um, I get my MHC molecules half from my mother, half from my father, and that's the same for everybody else. These other molecules are also polymorphic with these different forms. And therefore, it makes it more complicated. Um, you cannot just say that it's a combination of one molecule with the other. You have to look genetically at the various types of forms that are present. So these different types of each of these molecules has to be taken into account. As I say, these ones, MHC class 1, the MIC A and NKG2D, are passed genetically from parent to child. The key of expression is even more complicated because that will actually vary between different killer cells in the same person's body. So what's the relevance of this with regards to birdshot? Um, there's a lot of data on this slide, but don't worry too much about that. The A29, as I say, is one of these HLA molecules HLA form, and this uh, type, this subtype, is found in over 95% of patients with bloodshot uveitis. Work by Ralph Levinson's group a few years ago looked at these various combinations for HLA and Kia, and regardless of what all these ones and brackets are, what he found is that pairs that implicated a weak inhibition and a strong activating force um, were more likely to be found in patients with birdshot. By comparison, um, association of strong inhibitory pairs um, in combination with various other uh, molecules was observed in the HLA-29 negative controls. And this suggests that there's a profound effect of some of these combinations in the absence of strong inhibition, which may enhance the activation of natural killer cells and contribute to the pathogenesis of birdshot. And this is um, some of the first evidence that explains uh, partly why HLA-A29 is so strongly involved with this disease. Now, you can have HLA-A29, and many people do have, and they don't have birdshot. It's not a single gene disease by any means. But this is telling us that these combinations, which we can now type for, are um, giving us a handle on what might be happening in birdshot and how we can move forward with this. So in summary, um, the A29 molecule is the strongest genetic association with uh, birdshot. The combination of keyers are also involved from Ralph Levinson's work. This weak inhibition state may lead to higher levels of these cytokine molecules, which go on to induce inflammation, and that polymorphisms and other molecules, such as the NKG2D recognition system, will also be informative. And this is an area that we are very interested in following up in uh, the genetic and immunological studies in this disease. So thank you very much.